I'm Craig Kenneth, a relationship coach and a psychotherapist. Every relationship is different and every breakup is different. Work with me and you'll get professional help on your situation. And if you're in no contact, focused on personal growth, my workbook series, The Knowledge, will help you make changes like you've never made before. Available now at AskCraig.net. Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. I'm Coach Margaret. And today we're gonna to be talking about my ex broke no contact and I'm confused. Understandably so. Margaret, I remember going through my breakups and any time you would hear from an ex, it puts you in a state of just terror. Yeah. It's like you, you're shaking. I mean, I've had, I remember somebody throwing up on the phone with me one time. He was so, his, he had heard from his ex and he was just in this total state of despair. Uh, yeah. And I remember feeling like that too, that any time you have any contact, especially if you haven't heard from him in a while, yeah. some of you guys will have your ex's breadcrumb you, but I'm talking about if you haven't heard from them in a while, it's like, you're just like in the state of shock. You don't, you can't believe it. You're, you feel like your brain is in a fog. You're so confused. You have often described that. I've never heard anyone describe it at all, let alone as well as you did. Yeah. That you felt like, yeah, you were just in a fog and nothing made much sense. And yeah. yeah. You can't think sharp. You're, you're just like kind of like disoriented yeah. and out of it. It's yeah. just so overwhelming when it happens. And, you know, it's very easy to get confused about anything in that situation. Yeah. Every tiny little thing just leaves you completely unsure about things. I remember feeling like that. And so when I see you guys go through that, it's just like, okay, let me help you sort that out. You know, that's one of the things Margaret and I can help you do yeah. is sort through those things. That's why it's so good to talk to us about it. So, and every week I ask, how do I get a coaching? The only way to get a coaching with us is through the website. And I do want to reiterate, there are quite a few fake Instagram accounts out there that will message you about coaching, particularly they'll ask you about email coaching because obviously they can't talk with you, right? right. So be very careful about Instagram accounts. I will never reach out to you and ask you to do coaching with me. I will never send you any kind of messages like that. The only way to get our help, me, Margaret, and Victoria, is going through the website and signing up on my website. I want to make that very clear because I've had numerous people get taken advantage of. Oh, we you know, hate to hear that. Yeah, by people pretending to be me. I won't message you in the comment section, any kind of WhatsApp number, anything like that. The only way is through the website. Anything else, it's not me, it's a scam. Please be careful. Okay? And if you have the good sense to call us, how terrible that yeah. you get scammed out of it. Yeah. That's a shame. Well, they'll do it with email coaching yeah. because obviously it's a yeah. fake email and it will look like my account. It will it will be a similar email with my name in it. I'm telling you, they go through all the steps. They'll have my picture on the email to do everything to make it look wow. like it's me. But that's why I'm telling you the only way to get our help for coaching is signing up on the website askcraig.net, okay? Just wanna put that out there. Good. Don't like anybody getting taken advantage no. of like that. Okay, so today I got a good email coaching, okay? And this is from somebody that I had done a Skype with, okay? So let me just go ahead and read what they have here. They said, hi again, Craig. I have been in no contact for about a month, now focusing on personal growth. Hanging out with more people and doing new and exciting things to get over my social anxiety, working out again, signing up for college classes, I've been intimate with a coworker, nothing serious, in therapy once a week. Wonderful. To be honest, I've been juggling so much in order to keep busy, I've been having difficulty finding the time to do the workbooks, I just began volume four. All right, You're so doing he's, all right there, he's buddy. doing pretty good. Sure. Uh, 
Let's see. You and I Skyped about a month ago. I told you that about two weeks after the breakup, she posted pictures with another guy on Instagram. Yep. Which is horrible. Yep. <laughs> That's the worst and feeling. he has them married already. Down, down the road, going off into the sun. That's what it feels like. Right. She probably thinks I have no idea about this other guy because I haven't used my Instagram in years. And we never added each other back when I did. I often struggle on whether to send a bitter text letting her know I've seen them, but I don't want to come off like I care and I'm inse insecure. Good. Good for you. Yeah, and this Good. is what I was Good just... Good judgment. Yep. We were talking about this in another video recently right. where I was saying you don't want to blow up on them on social media, right? Right. And you don't want to look insecure. Yeah. Probably also in hopes to see her again and let her see the improvements I have been attempting to make. Improving, not being so introverted and finding my self-worth. So Good. I like that. I have been in no contact since the end of March when I let her know I still had her family photos. Okay. So, so he did an indirect direct. The, he did before, I think, mm -hmm. our coaching. Yeah. I think so. Okay. So that was a while ago. Mm -hmm. Then he said... Out of the blue, uh, towards the end of April, so at, about a month later, mm -hmm. she had sent a text at work asking if I had her social security and birth certificate for her to receive a check. He says, I was shaking. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, which I just it's talked about. It's a phone about. call I've been waiting for. It feels like all my life. Yeah. yeah. Um, social security card. And a birth certificate. Now, that's a tough one, Margaret, because people genuinely need those in their life. Oh, yeah. So, you know... Yeah, you'd really have to. Yeah. yeah. At, he, you know, that's something she really would need. Yeah. It's not as, you know, sneaky as, you know, I haven't seen my white sneakers. No. Right? This is something that this somebody... This is something real. It's not yeah, real. really yeah. needs. So, you know, when you're when you get that call you get you're like oh my gosh is so this an indirect literally direct? shaking yeah. yeah and he's thinking is this an indirect direct mm -hmm. but that seems like more business whatever related. it is though you still got her on the other end of the phone <laughs> that's true right <laughs> after i didn't respond in some time because i was work and busy yeah probably and he doesn't want to come some on some time is that going to be 20 he, minutes or two days or uh probably a few hours all right she called me twice in a row. See? So now she's getting anxious. Mm -hmm. Right? This is what we tell you guys. Your ex does get separation anxiety. See how quickly? I didn't answer because I was so nervous. Oh, poor guy. I tried to call her back a few hours later when I was in a secluded place, but she didn't answer, so I just proceeded to text. I've included some messages here for context. All right, I don't have those pulled up on my document here, but I do. I did look over the text messages, and uh, let me just go on with what he wrote. He talked on the phone before she sent me the pictures of my documents. I told her I was going out with some people and wouldn't have time to sift through all the boxes to find her documents. I reminded her that I still had her family photos and we could meet somewhere to trade those that evening. Now, I think he maybe came on a little too strong. That was a little bit much. Yeah, like yeah. this evening, this like, evening, hold on, yeah, we're yeah. just talking for the first time yeah. in a month. Yeah. Let's settle down here. Let's relax, right? Take it some Take some time. You don't have to rush these things. It's going to come on too strong. If you know how bad I felt, you'd understand. And I do know how bad you felt. Um, she said, I thought you were going to hang out with people. Let's just exchange things tomorrow. Okay. okay. And even that seems like a little bit of a rush. Why, why rush? You don't have to do it tomorrow. Well, tomorrow never came. I haven't heard from her since the last text messages. Interesting, right? Yeah. Makes you wonder. She was awful anxious a couple days ago, or the day before, or whatever, calling a few times. Did I do or say anything wrong that made her not want to respond? Well, yeah. I only saw those text messages at the time, and I even said here in the email they seemed fine. Um, 
you know, the only thing is that maybe he came on just a little bit too strong. Pressing for this evening. Yeah. yeah. Um, but for the most part, I remember thinking, no, this seemed okay. He says, I just don't understand why, if she wants to be done with me, not just do this last exchange so we can't be out of each other's lives. So, Margaret, it seems like he's really struggling with the uncertainty here. He, so he what wants did he just say? To, he wants to know. He, yeah. He's saying, I just don't understand why, if she wants to be done with me, not just do this last exchange of items so we can be out of each other's lives. Because it's not that simple. Part of her may want you out of her life. Yeah. And a part of her may still be very attached to you. And not only that, you know... He he's really struggling with the uncertainty of like I want to know right now. Yeah, I don't blame him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but if he gets to a healthier place, he'll be able to allow those things. Right. 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 Is she keeping my things to have an excuse to contact me as well? I wouldn't rule it out. Yeah. See, the thing about birth certificate and what was the other thing? A driver's license or yeah. something. Uh, those documents people need. I mean, there's right. no getting around it. People really need those things for yep. to get, to get by in life, right? Um, so, or social security card, maybe it was. However, yeah. she obviously is not worried about that now. Yeah. So yeah, like, so she could be holding on to that because she's not sure. ready to. Of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think oftentimes that that's the case. Yeah. yeah. He says, "Should I resume no contact or pursue?" trying to meet with her now that she's back. Well, I think, I mean, to say that she's back is a big jump. Yep. You know, she's back. She contacted you. She she's contacted you. She's not, but yeah. And so, you know, at this point, based on this, you know, birth certificate and social security card or whatever it was, those are things that people genuinely need. So but he's, yeah, I, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. So. I'm going to look at it as more of a business-related thing until I see something else. Okay, that sounds reasonable. Right? I need to see something else to make me think that there might be more going on here. Now, there, that's not to say that there couldn't be. No, no. But I'm going to play it very safe with something that somebody really does genuinely need. Mm -hmm. um, it is confusing. Like, I don't understand why she doesn't want to do it. She may be just not ready yet. Maybe she's not ready yet. Maybe she found another way to get those documents. Well, he did text a picture of them to her. I do. I do remember that from. So maybe the work that she needed that needed it was okay with the text pictures of it. Mm -hmm. And so maybe she wasn't in a rush. Yeah, that's to what it sounds like. Those things. That suddenly she wasn't in such a rush anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think that's probably why they probably accepted it and said, "Okay, the picture of it is okay for now." And so maybe she's not pressing it for now. And, you know, maybe mm -hmm. she's thinking about things and just not quite sure what to do yet. He's struggling with coming on too strong, huh? Yeah, I think so. But as far as, uh, you know, this, I would, I would, yes, I would not reach out to her about pressing for this. I'm going to let her reach yeah, out her to problem. you. It's her problem. And, and meet with you when she's ready to. But next time, don't look so eager to... to to see her, you know what I mean? Like, just say, hey, what, well, what's your schedule like this week? Or what's your schedule like next week? Well, one of my favorite phrases, what would work for you? Yeah, something more about, like, not like, let's meet up. Right. Which, it, that's the underlying sense what I get What would here. be a good time for you, if you even want to? There are different ways we could do this, if yeah. you want to do it. Well, a lot of times, exes are going to say and do things that are confusing. Yeah. Okay? But the poor guy, you can just see how excited he got. Yeah. Yeah. The thing that um, made me a little worried here was when I saw him say, now that she's back. Yeah. No, she's not. Yeah. And so that's what I was like, hold on, hold on. We don't know what's going on with her. Is it possible she's mulling over or thinking about things? Because um, I do think they had a phone call mm -hmm. um, with those text messages. But you don't want to come on too strong here, no matter what happens when your ex reaches out. It's good to stay centered, and he kind of tried to do that, mm -hmm. but I think he's jumping the gun in yeah. some ways, yeah. 
right? He's, tr he's struggling not to, but he's doing it. Yeah. So it is confusing. And of course, it's scary and it's overwhelming and you're not going to be able to think clearly. All those things happen and just kind of expect that and do your best to get yourself into good, a good place before you try and reach back out to them, right? Right. And, you know, obviously we are here to help coach you with these things and, and help you see things clearly um, when it's really hard to see through a lot of confusing mixed messages, right? So he got all excited and thought she's back. I can call her now. Yeah. I can set up times to see her now. No, you're not yeah. there yet. Yeah. Because she disappeared. If she really wanted those documents, she would have been like, meet me at so-and-so or I'll come pick them off, leave them up in your mailbox or something like that. Right. But there could be some element of missing you here as well, yeah, absolutely. which is why she's not grabbing them and picking them up and just taking them. So, yeah, there could be that going on. It's confusing, but you're going to need to watch her behavior a little yeah. bit more before you have, you need more information, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So hopefully you found this one helpful. And of course, when you need our help for your situation, trying to figure out confusing behaviors, that's why we're here. I do email coaching and I do Skype. And of course, Margaret is available for Skype coaching. If you feel that I can be helpful, please sign up. And she's always helpful. She's 10 steps ahead of your ex, <laughs> maybe a hundred. But that's it for this video. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. I'm Coach Margaret. And we will talk with you soon. To get my help personally, go to AskCraig.net and click on Schedule Coaching and choose the option that works best for you. I do email coaching or Skype. To schedule a coaching with Margaret, click on Margaret on the top of the page and order a Skype with her. For the Knowledge Creative Healing course, Click on the link at the top of the page and click Get Started Now.